Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very easy way that you can make your very own plant watering bag that can last several months at a time. This has many different benefits for a gardener. One being if you've got plants that are out in full sun that require a lot of watering, especially younger plants. You may even be noticing the soil beginning to crack in between waterings. This application does a wonderful job helping to keep that soil moist and keep the roots from drying out so that your plant can survive and thrive into maturity. This also works out great if you've got plants that are maybe a little bit further from your main garden plot and you don't get to them to water as often. So especially in hot, dry climates, this is extremely helpful. Or maybe you're gonna head out for a few days or weeks, go on vacation, and you wanna make sure that your plants survive during that time. And one of the best things about this strategy is that you can scale it up or down. You can make the bag smaller. You can get several bags to cover a larger area. So here's one right here. And as you can see, what it is is a sandbag. And inside I have some soil moist crystals that have been hydrated with water. Now this little blueberry plant here gets a lot of sun during the day. The soil will crack around it and then the plant begins to struggle. But since I've put this bag around it, it's doing just great. Now I'm gonna lift this up and show you. Underneath, we've got all this moisture here and it goes down several inches. It's going down to the root zone. This is all nice and moist. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. But real quick, before we do that, I wanna show you this gomi berry shrub over here just loaded down with fruit. This is abundance, my friends. And boy, are they delicious. There's nothing like sitting out in your garden and enjoying a fresh, organic snack. Mmm, freshly picked. The plant is just absolutely loaded down. And so far this year, the birds haven't been much of an issue. Hopefully that doesn't change, but as long as I get out here and harvest the ripe ones, there should be no issue at all. Gomi berry is a wonderful food crop to add into your garden. Not only does it provide an abundance of berries that are great out of hand, but you can add them into smoothies as well, freeze them for later use, make jams, jellies out of them. But the plant is also a nitrogen fixer. So the roots of the plant form nitrogen root nodules that help to feed itself and surrounding plants. The other thing I love about growing gomi is you can't usually find this. I've never seen them for sale locally, whether at the market or the farmer's market. So I'm a big fan of growing crops that you can't find locally, more unique specimens such as the gomi. As far as the flavor profile goes, they're slightly sweet and a little bit tart. When they are at peak ripeness, they're quite soft, and that's when they're the sweetest and the least tart. Mm. So you're gonna love just how easy and fast this project is to put together. All you need is a five gallon bucket, or really any container, even a Rubbermaid container, what have you, to hydrate the water crystals first. Once we do that, we're just gonna add it into our sandbag. So I'm gonna give you the ratios and show you how this works. So both these sandbags and the water crystals, you can find links to those down in the description box. This is an affordable project. I've been using these crystals for various different applications in the garden. You can add just a little bit of this into your potted plants or even your little seed starts when you're getting your soil prepared. And that just helps to retain moisture and keep it locked within the soil for a longer period of time. When you add these crystals into something like a sandbag, and this has a porous weave to it, which allows that moisture to seep out. It also wicks up water as well, so you can use these, fill them up with potting mix, and put it in a container, even like a bucket, and fill the bucket with a little bit of water, and it'll wick it up, so that's another technique for you there. But something really cool especially using something like the sandbag here, is that over time, you're gonna see it kind of deflate as the moisture escapes from the crystals. But you can rehydrate them once again. 
So once you have this all put together, you can just take that bag full of crystals and put it in a vessel, like a garbage can or a bucket, put some water, it'll hydrate back up nice and plump, and you can once again place it around your plants. So when filling up a standard size sandbag, what you're gonna need is one cup of crystals to two and a half to three gallons of water. And the bucket makes for an easy measurement as it's a five gallon bucket. So fill it up about halfway and you're ready to go. And wait till you see how much these crystals expand in the water. That should do it. so it's been about 25 30 minutes and as you can see we've got this gelatinous substance here that we can now use to fill our sandbag so I'm just gonna scoop this stuff out And that's all there is to it. You can see we've got a little bit of seepage right up front. No problem there. And now we'll just take the built-in string and tie off the bag. By making the knot a simple one, you can easily untie this if need be to add in more crystals at a later date. And there's your bag. Now it's gonna be best to get your bag in direct contact with the soil rather than on top of any mulch or covering that's around the plant. So I'm gonna pull back some of these weeds that I chopped and dropped as a little mulch here. This tree gets a whole lot of sun and this area right in front of the tree trunk can get really dry. Now another tip before you go ahead and put your automatic watering bag in front of your plant is to soak the soil, get it nice and wet before you put it down. And remember, it's the feeder roots that need the most moisture. So you wanna target the drip line of your tree. So depending on how mature your tree is, you're gonna go a little bit further out from the trunk of the tree. Now, a great way to gauge that is you take your lateral branches and you basically just go down from there and that's where you would place your bag. Now, a tree like this would do well with three or four bags around the drip line here but today I'm just gonna be putting the one. And that's all there is to it, folks. It's really that easy. I am going to add another two bags here now that I've got this laid out at a later date. And it would also be wise to put some nice mulch right around that open area nearest the trunk. But this is just gonna to help to ensure that these feeder roots get the moisture they need. The soil is not gonna dry out too much and cause harm to the tree. But this could be applied in so many ways. I may even put a couple right here on top of this hugel bed just to keep my cucumbers nice and moist as this soil tends to get a lot of sun as well and it can dry out rather quickly. So if I put three or four of those bags right here in front, that's going to decrease my watering needs tremendously. Not only lessening my workload, but also saving me water. Because that moisture is being slowly released, it's not filtering through like a tea bag. It's just feeding it nice and slow, so none of the water gets wasted. So there you have it, folks. It's just that easy. A sandbag, some water crystals, and you're off to the races. So with that, have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.